hello and welcome back to Path to Glory, our Let's Play as Rome here in Civilization VI. Things have been going pretty well for us, and I hope that that's a trend that continues. <laughs> Let's get back to it, shall we? Alright, so what do you need? The repairs are mostly done. I guess we could finish here to the monument. Okay, you guys can... Move forward a bit. Oh, I didn't realize how close you were. You are right there. Mm-hmm. Maybe make a deal for now? Say, truffles for spices. 26 go- what? <laughs> Come on, man. You're just being silly now. So considering he's the scary thing that could come our way, let's reposition our guys a bit. So let's put some spearmen, say, like up here. Let's bring you back home. Get that cotton going. You guys continue your trek north. There we go, there's Soul. When you enter a new era, earn one random Eureka from that era. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I like all the sciencey stuff you get from them. Huh. Who's currently influencing them? Two by the Aztecs. Okay. Our focus is still going to be Zanzibar, but... Soul's a, a good secondary that we can invest in. Okay, we get another trade route in three turns. We also pick up markets and commercial hubs. Like, what is your current assignments? You don't have enough population. <laughs> That's the problem right now. So, uh, we need food. Yeah, let's get over here and improve the deer. Okay, let's get that upgrade. You're going to head over here. So we're going to fortify the heck out of this place. We've got 33 turns until Ancient Walls is done, but that'll improve, obviously, as the place grows. We need to get some production over here somewhere. Uh, we need to improve the truffles as well. We'll build another uh, builder over here when the Hang Gardens is done, and then we'll send it over to Antinum. They take Jakarta yet? No, they haven't. Oh man, can't even take a city state out. You kind of, you're kind of having a hard time there, Gilgamesh. Having a hard time. Okay, you head back. Need housing, huh?
31 turns. Yeah, well, I'm staying on building the walls. So you'll just have to have slower growth for a while. Keep an eye on Gilgamesh for us. Fortify until healed. <laughs> Friendship? Uh, okay, sure, Peter. Let's do that. Money, if it does not bring you happy. All right, now let's come up with a game plan here for tech. We do have bath and catapult that we could pick up, which I think is probably the way we're going to go because we also have crossbowmen and lumber mill down here ready to go. Question is, do we want industrial zones first? Mm. Our production is okay, I think. Yeah, let's grab engineering and machinery because we have a lot of already ranked up archers that we can, uh, you know, promote into crossbowman class, which would mean 40 range strength. Yeah, that's going to come in handy, because we know it's only a matter of time, and probably not that far off, actually, before we're having to deal with Monty and his crazy forces. Because when he comes, he's going to come with, like, you know, six, eight, nine units at a time, and we need to be able to hold him off. We should get some of the sailing stuff here at some point, too, since we have a coastal city and we're about to have another one. Alright, now hold on, let's think about this. We want the commercial hub and ultimately the harbor right next to each other and I'm trying to remember if we want the harbor closest to this harbor would go here so it'd be right so we're shipyard or whatever so we'd have harbor and the commercial hub here and then back over here the industrial zone I think that's the most optimum setup if I remember correctly I think it is so we're gonna go commercial hub Right there. Let's look at your assignments. So that's two, 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 one. But the best thing we got going? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so lock that in. And then three production, one food. I think we will trade that for two food, two production. Well, actually, or we could just take three food, which I think for now is probably better. Growth in two turns. Amenities is fine, and housing is more than fine. Okay, this city will re start recovering quickly now. Okay, you hang out right there just to keep an eyeball on things. You slide over. You hold steady. You keep looking.
Nice little wall of spearmen here. Backed up by an archer. And actually... Do you have... You're just a regular archer, no promotion. And you have... You have Garrison. Okay, so what we'll do... Is you... Right there, and then you with Garrison, you'll hang out inside the city. Yep, that'll work. So Monty can come on down whenever he wants. We're good to go. The poets have been mysteriously silent. Guess we'll grab theology. Are do we are we still in the running though? Let's take a look at great people. Great prophet. Russia's got Oh, I'm sorry. Where am I going here? Great writer, great prophet. Here we go. No, that's engineer. What the hell is going on? Here we go. Plus two t per turn. Plus six per turn, unmet player. Hmm. And how many religions left? Yeah, it's not looking like we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, six points per turn. That's a lot. I was thinking we still had a shot at it, but we really don't. And I'm not saying we don't need theology because we're still going to have to build faith building so that we can recruit, you know, essentially religious soldiers. But is it important to us right now? And I think the answer to that is no. I mean, you got monarchy down here. Uh, I mean, that would be good because it's a it's an advanced government form, but we could also go up and get yeah, merchant republic. I like that one quite a bit. But it is certainly faster to get to monarchy at this point. I guess we could do it. We could go Theology, Divine Right to get Monarchy, and then we could go up and get Merchant Republic, but... It seems wasteful to me to do that. Alright, let's do this. Let's do Feudalism then. Mercenaries, because that's boosted as well. And then Secure Merchant Republic. I think that's the best bet right now. And what do we have to do? Build two caravels to get this boosted as well. All right, so hold on. Let's go back over here. We'll finish up engineering. We'll get machinery. And then we'll grab sailing. Where's caravel at? How far down are you? Oh, wow. Okay. Scratch that idea. We'll go ahead and pick up sailing because we want the ability to embark, I guess. And it gives us fishing boats, so we will do that. And... We've just skipped doing astrology, huh? I guess pick that up, and then we can grab Celestial Navigation, which will give us the harbor. It'll also give us a lighthouse. Okay, that works. We might revise that, but that'll be fine for now. Okay, you hang out there. Keep watching them for us. Ooh, 
four turns left, or five turns left on Hanging Gardens. The Vinta, huh? Oh, okay. Take a look at them. Plus two faith in capital. Eh, useful-ish. Could train a horseman to get an envoy here. Recruit a great prophet. Recruit a great scientist. Recruit a great scientist. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We obviously want to do that as soon as we can anyway, so... Upgrade. So where do we want to put this city? Could put it right there. On the ocean, next to a river, next to a mountain. We get cotton, fish, two sources of fish, and crabs. We get tobacco. Hmm. We can't get everything, unfortunately. We would lose one tobacco. Or we could set up right here. And we could get wheat, citrus, two sources of tobacco, and cotton. That's probably the way to go. Or even up here. There's a lot of good choices here, because you've got coffee, sheep, two sources of tobacco. Right here, you'd get all of that. One, two, three, four. You'd get five... Or at least four... Luxury resources if we set up right there. Hmm. That's going to be a tough choice. Let me know what you guys think about that. Here, I'll give you another look. Tell me what you think in terms of placement. If I'm only going to put one city up here, where should it be? Let me know what you think. Okay, you move into the city. Gorgoemi. Oh. Havasileia sta Spartas. Ke hagemon ton Helenon. Okay, okay. She's probably going to like us because we've got a pretty nice army. It's an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. Matter of fact, let's talk to her right away and see if we can send a delegation. Not interested. But I thank you for the gifts. Oh, okay, good. Make a deal. What kind of deal can we make? Um, let's sell them something. Here, what would you give us for this? Really? Okay, we'll, we'll absolutely take that deal. And as a matter of fact, we're going to give you a really good deal. We're going to say only give us five gold per turn. I'm happy to accept this deal. Perfect. We'll give them a favorable trade deal. Probably won't become our friends. Does not need your friendship. Okay, that's fine. Wouldn't expect them to accept on the first turn, but... Making friends is not a bad idea, because we're not in the lead, unfortunately. We're, we're not quite in the lead. When we look at score, we're at 91. Now, we are playing on a higher difficulty level than the last Let's Play. We moved up two slots to Emperor, so obviously the... I think that's when the AI starts getting additional bonuses. Like, the AI, how they react to things changes as the difficulty goes up, but they also get uh, resource increases. So it's to be expected that, from a score perspective, we're not but 70, 70, what, turns in. So this is actually tracking pretty well for us. We're not dead last. <laughs> we're not dead last. So we'll take that as a win. Okay. I think that's funny that Gilgamesh is, like, losing to Jakarta right now. That's what it looks like, anyway.
Let's head that way. There we go. Got ourselves another farm. And let's change your assignments. Okay, good. Three food. Four gold. One production, one food. So we give up a production and one science. For the gold? Yeah, I'll take that deal. That's a good deal. Okay, move up. Still don't like us, huh, Monty? It's just ridiculous, the demand. This is just stupid. <laughs> 24 cold a turn. Come on, man. Whatever. Accept their deal. Ah, uh, that's a terrible deal for us. Just terrible. Uh, but I am actually going to accept it. What? Yep, I am. Because we could certainly use some additional friends, so. Because uh, I'm concerned about Monty. I mean, we have a pretty good standing force, but he's he can be kind of scary, especially in the early game. With those Eagle Warriors, they're kind of no joke. I'll feel more comfortable when we have, like, proper crossbowmen. Hmm. More farms? <laughs> uh... I mean, I suppose yes. What's your growth right now, though? It's kind of insane. What you need is production. I have no real way to give you any at the moment. Okay, let's get a campus started. I don't want to fall too far behind in science, and we're not doing so great in that regard right now, because we've spent so much time building units and kind of expanding our reach that it's been a struggle to get some Normal of the other things done. Believe that if it okay, so catapults are done. Or the tech for it is. Who did we just meet? Tusa, huh? Okay. And what do you have? Oh, scientific. Okay. Oh, nice. And what's your... Influenced by... Maria? And what is your level 6 unique? Provides you with one of each strategic resource you have revealed but do not own. Wow. Wow, that's a big deal, especially like mid to late game. Okay, we need to keep our eye on this one. Very nice. Potentially. Move up. 
All right, folks, take another look because we're going to be settling this soon. So give me your feedback on where you think the best spot is. I'm thinking right here or right here. I don't know. I'm still a little torn. But let me know what you think. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.